All right, here we go. Welcome, everybody, to the Tuesday evening screencast video coaching call. My name is Lon Naylor. I'll be your host tonight. Here's a little trick for using the color picker or eyedropper in PowerPoint. And I've known about this trick for quite a while, but I don't think I've ever talked about it. I was perusing one of my uh, favorite YouTube channel guys for PowerPoint stuff, Andrew Pock, and he kind of reminded me of this little trick. So thought I'd give him a shout out and also kind of share it with you folks. I put a link to his channel in the chat box for you because he does some really nice work. This young guy right here. But anyway, here's kind of the scoop. Let's uh, jump out here for a second. Set up a bit of a demo here for us. Let's go ahead and create us a new slide. New blank slide. And I'm going to go ahead and just insert a shape. Insert us a shape. Right. And I want to change the color of this shape, of course, so I can go to the shape format, shape fill, pick a color, or a lot of times what you want to do is use the old eyedropper tool, right? You want to pick a specific color based on the color of a different asset. And in the past, it's kind of difficult to do in the sense that if you choose it, then if you notice, when I uh, kind of move off the slide, I lose the eyedropper. And so typically in the past, what we needed to do was, you know, drop a, I don't know, like a little color palette swatch off the slide or something like that. But there's actually a way to do this. So I'm going to click on this. I'm going to go to Shape Fill and go to the eyedropper tool. If you click, left click and hold, and then move your cursor, you can pick colors from anywhere else. Okay, so let's say I want, oh, let's say I want this shade of blue here. So that's kind of handy for picking colors across slides. You can also, let's do a little window action here. Let's say I want this color to be, oh, Camtasia button green. <laughs> okay, so let's again give us a little room here. And this works anywhere you can pick the eyedropper. So for the background fill, for text fill, anywhere you can use the eyedropper, I can click and hold. And anything I can basically see on my screen, I can then go grab the color for. So now there we go. And ready to rock. Okay, so that's kind of a handy, dandy little trick. How many of you didn't know that? Anybody didn't know that little trick? Yeah, that's a good one. Me, 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 me. <laughs> kind of a time saver. And I like to use it, oh, let's even do this. Let's go to a website. So here, Animatoon site. And again, the key and the secret sauce there is if I want to pick, well, I want to pick that nice lovely shade of purple for my box. I want to make sure that I can see it. Uh, and actually this works across, if you have multiple monitors, it also works. But otherwise you'll have to like get to a window mode here. Shape fill, eyedropper, left click hold, and go snag yourself a nice purple color. Okay, so that's kind of cool. Let's do one other thing here. Speaking of color tricks, one of the updates for PowerPoint 365. Let's go to Shape Format again and change the shape fill. In addition to the eyedropper, of course, again, we can pick certain colors, use the eyedropper, or go to More Fill Colors. And traditionally, what you could do if you had a color value, you could enter in the RGB value. Well, apparently Microsoft is awakened from their brain dead coma and you can now enter a hex value, which lots of programs use and to identify colors. So let's jump over to Camtasia for a second. Well, let's see here. Here I have a call out. Let's say I want to make sure that my PowerPoint content uses this shade of green for this call out. Right, so all I have to do is go and let's go to the properties. And again, you can get hex values from lots of different sources and places. But here, 
I just use Camtasia because it happens to provide a hex code. So I'm going to highlight this and I'm going to control C. Let's go back to PowerPoint and in the hex value here now like magic we can now enter a hex value. Way to go Microsoft. Only about 15 years too late with that guy. So there's that. Alright, a couple of quick PowerPoint tips and tricks for ya. Does anybody have any other questions? Questions or comments? Leave them, I love them. And don't forget to subscribe if you want more stupid tricks and stuff. Okay, I think that's it then. Hopefully you guys found some of that useful. I'll get the replay out. Everybody have a good one, and I'll talk to you all later.